Well, here's somebody in a golf cart. Maybe they could tell us where 30 is. It's Glen, man. Hey, man. It's Glen. Ah. <laughs> she is. There, she needs a water. There's some ice to lick on. Hi, little pee peeps. That's awesome. Is it our coach? It's our coach. It's our oh coach. my goodness. Taking you to dinner. To dinner? having some moose sausage oh man I can't wait it smells glorious <clears throat> so the breakfast here and uh, RVing basset hounds uh, Abby Bella are coming over with freshly baked cinnamon rolls. nope you just put it on the grill just like that this just could not be a better spot this is just gorgeous Docking dishes. We are boiling water outside. And the water, I'm not sure if I can see it. There we go. <laughs> Bowl in a pan of water because our water still isn't uh, working. I mean, it's a brand new pump, but we can't find the fuse that goes with it. So we're about to rinse the dishes. But on the upside, we do have Dash AC now, because that was found. There we go, here's our little table. I'm just kind of chasing the sun with this, and that's keeping the battery alive to run the fridge. But um, just kind of camping in the beautiful shade, though it is lovely. 
it's uh, it's not good for your batteries. If our batteries continue to be drained like that, <clears throat> then they'll be ruined and we'll be forced to buy a whole new battery bank and that wouldn't be good. At this point, our boondocking ability has been severely curtailed by the loss of 10 flexible solar panels and two big solid panels, but not to worry, we think we fixed that. So there'll be a video coming up soon about our new addition to our boondocking power arsenal. So, so I'm going to turn the truck around and drag the dolly out of here and we're going to, I'll pull it up around the back and we'll just drive straight out of here. and go look for some ice for the cooler today and um, sit in the sun for a while to charge up the batteries at least enough to um, turn the fridge it didn't shut down but it did it get down it got down pretty far it's not supposed to go below 23.8 and we were down to 22.4 when I got up this morning and looked at about I don't know seven <clears throat> so sunshine we need some A very special thanks to Valerie and Glenn, our friends and camp hosts. They very graciously had us over for dinner on our first night at Detroit Lake and also helped us move to a second spot when our neighbor's dog just would not quit barking. And we so appreciate it. That second spot was just beautiful. It had a view of the lake and it was huge. It was just gorgeous. Thank you 